So what are we saying here? Effectiveness of convention is ensured when MEAs achieve their objective. That is the primary thing. Studies or evaluation can assist in gauging this. But the mechanisms provided by MEAs have over the years evolved to make MEAs more inclusive and efficient in achieving their objectives. The mechanisms do not work well in all MEAs. Some MEAs are more funded than others. Some MEAs have more mechanisms than others. So it's not an issue of a member state deciding what should happen to another treaty just because it worked well in another one. It all depends on the, what is being regulated and the kind of arguments that are placed before the parties. But effectiveness can be ensured and assured by taking the necessary measures in implementation. Compliance assistance and mechanisms can be helpful if the parties can afford this. So the issue of affording comes in because the governance structure is sort of scattered in so many pieces. With time, it becomes a burden as uh, the representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that it's too costly to manage all these MEAs. And then with time, the issue is not that you want to develop new standards, but how are we going to pay for them? So the issue of affording comes in, in terms of the secretaries that you're going to pay for, and the budgets and the meetings and conferences of the parties, and the grants, because you are depending on the same uh, kind of member states to, to, to support the different mechanisms that are there. But the good thing is that the financial mechanisms that are working well, they have been replenished several times, and there's goodwill to provide the funding. The issue is whether the funding reaches to everyone who asks for it, and whether those who ask for it have the capacity to spend the money for the purpose of ensuring compliance. 